Recently, some people's iPhone X has not been able to boot. They took the phone to the mobile repair shop for repair, but after replacing the battery and switch power button cable, the problem still remains unresolved. After testing, the engineers found that the motherboard was short-circuited. If your iPhone X doesn't turn on, and you find that the full battery will run out quickly and the phone is hot, you can determine that the motherboard is shorted. Now, I want to show you how to repair the defective motherboard. First, we need a power supply that can display voltage and current and connect the power supply to the motherboard of the iPhone X. We can see that the current of the motherboard is very unstable and a large current value appears. The iPhone X has a two-layer structure. We need to separate the two boards before finding a point of failure. This is a custom heater for iPhone X that heats the board evenly. Separating the motherboard requires uniform heating to ensure that the motherboard is not damaged. After heating for 100 seconds, gently lift the upper layer of the motherboard with tweezers. After separating the motherboard, use a fan to cool the motherboard. We have confirmed that the motherboard is short-circuited, but it is not known where the short-circuit is. So after the motherboard has cooled to room temperature, we still have to test the motherboard. This is the circuit diagram of the iPhone X motherboard. We have to follow the circuit marked above to check one by one until an abnormal current is found. After several tests, we found a circuit that generated an abnormal current. Next, we just need to find the IC that is shorted on the circuit and replace it. Finding a shorted IC requires rosin. Rosin is easily evaporated by heat and is also prone to condensation. Heat the rosin with a soldering iron to evaporate and evenly condense on the motherboard. After a period of condensation, the board has been coated with a thin layer of rosin. Now, put the positive and negative poles of our ammeter in contact with the shorted circuit. The current flows at high speed on this circuit, generating heat, and the rosin evaporates instantaneously. It is this I see. Tin foil can protect other parts of the board from damage due to uneven heating. Evenly heat the shorted IC and gently pull it out of the motherboard with tweezers. The short circuit ICs in the motherboard are various and may be charging ICs, possibly storing ICs. The IC for this short circuit is a power-up IC. Purchase a new power-up IC and solder it to the motherboard with a heat gun. Now, solder the two boards together. The heating temperature is also 200 degrees Celsius. Before installing the motherboard on your phone, Make sure the fault has been eliminated. Connect the power to the motherboard. Connect the Apple logo and the cable switch holder with the tweezers. The current on the power supply is stable and there is no abnormal current. Now we can conclude that the motherboard failure has been eliminated. We installed the display on the motherboard and the phone turned on normally. Okay, our mission is complete. Hopefully our maintenance video will grow your knowledge and help you in the future.